It's crazy to think that there could actually be somebody out there plotting things like this. Especially being that I'm an influencer myself. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Now let's get started on my movie review of Influencer. Let's go. What's going on all my Flixers? This is JC from JC Flicks, and today I'm gonna to be giving you my review of the horror film Influencer that is currently streaming on Shutter right now. Hopefully when this comes out, it's still showing on there. But before I do get started, please know that this will be a spoiler-free review, you guys, just in case you have not seen this film yet, or if you do not have Shutter yet. I feel like you should get it. There's some gems on there. Also, please do make sure that you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new films. I'm always reviewing even shows, cartoons, all those things. All right. So this film, believe it or not, came out in 2022 in October. However, it wasn't released on Shudder, I believe, until sometime last year. It stars Emily Tennant, Cassandra Naud, who does a great job, by the way, Rory J. Saper, and Sarah Canning. And I probably butchered those names, but I'm horrible with names. But anyways, the synopsis goes like this. Social media influencer Madison is struggling on a solo backpacking trip in Thailand when she meets CW, who travels with ease and shows her a more uninhibiting way of living. However, CW's interest in her takes a darker turn now that's just a brief synopsis because the parts with madison are only in about maybe half of the film which threw me off at first when i had read the synopsis before watching this movie and even saw the trailer because at this point i was wondering where the film was gonna go but it continues and the plot thickens when it gets very very tricky with cw continuing some of her sinister plotting I went in thinking that the main character was going to be someone else, maybe Madison, but in fact, the main character in this film is actually CW, which, like I said, about halfway into the film, things change, and now you're following CW as she continues her mission, or even missions, of doing what she does to influencers, and that's all I'm pretty much going to give you guys when it comes to um, some of the plot. I feel like the less you know about this movie, the better. And in this social media world that we have at this moment, even with me being an influencer, I feel like social media has driven so much of this modern day and age that we live in. So that's why I feel like this screenplay and the story is extremely unique and original. It had me thinking for a couple of days after that, if there are really people that do this, which also even begs the question, even if they are doing this, have they gotten away with it? And I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the documentary, The Tinder Swindler, but something about those things and some of these documentaries that are coming out makes you really think, and there has to be someone out there doing this kind of stuff. And it's, it's not only sad, but it's scary, especially if you're trying to be an influencer or even if you're not and you're out there posting certain things that are out there in this world and it's public for everyone to see, it's kind of crazy to think about. And that's what I did love about this film. Now, let's get into some of the negatives. Although I did love the ending, it was definitely unexpected. I did feel like some of the characters and the way things happened could have been avoided earlier on in the film but it does make sense because some of these characters are not fully aware of what cw is doing they're kind of just leery about it and questioning her i also do question in the first and even some of the second act how far cw is able to go with some of these influencer type of tactics that she's doing and uh throughout this film you see how she is very smart and even with a lot of these things, she's very sly in the way she takes her initiative to do certain things, right? And so it does kind of have me questioning whether she'd be able to do that in the real world that easily. And with that being said, too, you kind of question some of these characters if they're not following these red flags that CW is giving. But I didn't feel like she was that convincing at first. And I felt like I would have picked up on it. But hey, I could be wrong. You're in a different country. 
you're doing things as an influencer, sometimes your mind is just on those things that you need to take care of, especially with that being your work and that being your full-time job. So I'm definitely surprised that there aren't many quote unquote influencers who have talked about this film. See what I did there. I mean, critics or reviewers, uh, a lot of people haven't really mentioned it. And I know though it is on Shutter, and that's kind of one of those apps where not many critics are going on or that many people even have to start off with. But with all that being said, I'm going to give Influencer on Shutter four and a half flames out of five and a Flamas rating. This is definitely a must watch, you guys, and close to perfect for a horror movie. I mean, not only that, but it's very original and it, the screenplay is very well put together because you don't know what things are going to happen. It's very unpredictable. And yeah, this definitely deserves a Flamas rating from me. Four and a half, close to perfect. It's fantastic. All right, you guys. This film is very underrated in my opinion, and I was actually surprised by it. Even some of the productions, sometimes you don't get so lucky on Shudder when you're watching certain horror films. You can tell the budget was really low. With this one, there was times where I felt like, man, this this may not have been such a low budget of a film. Uh, there was times where it had me convinced they spent a lot of money on this. But let me know what you guys think about this film. I know some of you may not have Shudder to watch this, but if you do end up getting the app, I highly recommend this is one of the first ones you watch. And for all of my diehard horror fans who already have Shudder, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it overall if you've already seen it. Once again, before I do go, please make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on movies I'm always reviewing, even horror. My name is JC from JC Flicks, and until next time, I'm out.